Steve, the swim team's coming off of the first trials, finals, big meet of the season. The men's team won at the Lager Invitational. The women's team finished fourth. Give us your recap of how the Pirates performed. Uh, we had a great meet. The team swam really, really well. Um, I mean, we expected they would swim well, but um, I think we exceeded what we thought we were going to do. Uh, you know, a lot of lifetime best times and season bests. I think everyone feels really good coming off of that meet. Um, you know, we're, we were just thrilled to swim fast. I think there was a lot of a lot of fun at that meet and a lot of joy just because uh, we really hit it well. Um, you know, we sharpened up a little bit for the meet. We didn't shave and taper, but we did take a couple days right before and, and you know, backed off a bit, and uh, they really popped at the meet. Um, so lots of highlights uh, and best times. You know, I, I think thinking of stuff that stood out for me, I'd say, uh, you know, Eben and his 100 Butterfly, that's 11th in the country right now. Um, Patrick Wilbur uh, in his backstroke, his 100 back was a really good swim, and he went a lifetime best in his 50 free. It was 21.6, so that's going to help our, our relays down the road, you know, having another really good sprint freestyler. Um, you know, on the women's side, our distance crew did really, really well. Um, Molly Vaught won a best time in her mile, and was the, it was her first time ever under 18 minutes to, to win that event at that meet, which was fun. And Allison Kulikowski and Marissa Gibson, same thing. They both went best times in their distance events, and uh, we just had a lot of really good swims. Uh, you know, Emma... Uh, Emma Bowles in the 100 fly uh, had a really good swim, which is great. Um, you know that that was good to see, and um, you know just so many highlights. It was it was a fun weekend, so we feel good about it. We're going to go the next several weeks without a meet uh, up until January. So what's the focus for the team now as you head into finals and you head into December in terms of training and uh, w what's up ahead of you? Uh, so this week we'll focus a lot on technique. We're bringing in John Rasmussen, an alum of our program. He was a, a former national champion and Olympic trial uh, participant. Um, and he's going to work with the team on breaststroke, primarily our IMers and breaststrokers. And, um, so this week we'll do some technique work. Uh, we're going to do some low-end aerobic stuff to kind of um, get our fitness back up because we did rest a little bit for this uh, this last weekend. So, um, you know, I think it's kind of a reset the next few weeks. We'll go to winter training camp um, and we'll work quite hard there. I mean, the volume and intensity will be pretty high at that training camp. And then, um, um, you know, and then we'll get ready for Seattle U in early January. That'll be kind of the next meet for us. Mm -hmm. And talk about uh, Christmas training, what you guys are going to do, where you're going to go, what yeah. the plans are for that. Yeah, that'll be fun. Uh, we're going to go to uh, Florida International University uh, near Miami. Uh, we'll go there right after Christmas and we'll stay there until school starts back up that first week in, in January. So we'll be there a little over a week and uh, that should be a lot of fun. Um, you know, we'll swim twice a day, uh, be doing some weights and stuff. Um, but hopefully we'll get out and be able to, you know, check out Florida a little bit and enjoy the sunshine and, you know, some of what Florida has to offer too.